The babysitter hears a noise upstairs, so Dad checks the hidden camera and captures a nightmare in his kitchen. Arriving home one day, one nanny immediately had the sense that something wasn't right, so she grabbed the kit she was looking after and made it to run for it. It wasn't until the child's father watched the chilling CCTV footage, however, that they fully understood what had happened. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Quick Stories Like and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Jonathan Lee and his family live in Irvine, California. Lee and his wife have a three-year-old son together. However, as they both lead busy lives, sometimes they can't be there 24 hours a day. As a result, the couple decided to hire a nanny to look after their little one, and they found the perfect candidate in Jenna Lee Baker. Little did they know at the time just how much Baker would come to mean to them, though. One day in the summer of 2017, Baker and the three-year-old had been out doing chores. It's likely the pair couldn't wait to get home after completing their tasks but they had no idea what was waiting for them there. When Baker opened the door, she had a feeling in her stomach that something was wrong. However, before she knew it, the little boy had already skipped into the house. Convinced that danger was present, Baker urged him to come back, and it's a good job she did, because just then, Baker heard footsteps pounding down the stairs. Consequently, Baker dashed into the house, picked up the child and carried him out. From there, she ran straight to a neighbor's house to get help. I turned around and I grabbed him, Baker said as she reenacted the scene for Inside Edition in August 2017. With child in tow, the nanny then fled down the driveway and onto the street without even stopping to put her shoes on. Baker's instincts had told her that something was amiss in the house. It wasn't until later, though, that she would know the true extent of the peril that she and the child had been in. Yes, it was only after the child's father returned home and checked the CCTV footage that the unsettling truth was discovered. The footage revealed that while Baker and the boy were out, a burglar had broken into the Lay family home. From there, he'd walked into the kitchen, where he had found the nanny's purse. The intruder then proceeded to empty the bag out onto the counter to see if there was anything worth stealing. What's more, this thief was a thorough thief, and he ensured that no stone was left unturned. Once he finished in the kitchen, the offender walked through the rest of the house in search of valuables, and he even checked the children's room for items that's my wife's purse. He's got his hand to have him going into my kids' rooms, and just walking in is most scary for me," Lee said as he rewatched the footage. Later, upon hearing Baker arrive home, the burglar must have realized that he'd overstayed his welcome as he then made a run for it, heading down the stairs and out the front door. In fact, the footage showed that he left the house just moments after the nanny and child following the burglary. Local police confirmed that they were looking for a suspect in relation to the incident. They listed him as an African-American male aged around 18 to 25 years old. Police also added that he had a polka dot backpack and likely weighed some 170 pounds. After surveying the CCTV footage, Lee believes that the man wasn't working alone. He was on his cell phone the entire time, he told ABC 7 Eyewitness News. From the time he came into the backyard, all the way into the house, all the way up into our room and back down, he was on his phone. Lee explained that the suspect had at first tried to gain entry to the home by breaking a window fitting, but when that failed, he simply broke through a glass door. Shockingly, a whole series of events happened in broad daylight. The father added that the incident had left him shaken to the court. The burglar tore down my whole sense of security that I had in my home, so I feel very violated, Lee said. It's not known what might have happened if Baker had crossed paths with the burglar and for Lee, that possibility doesn't even bear thinking about the fact that they were home, and he was inside the home was the scariest thing to me, he said. Now the family are just happy that things panned out the way they did, and they are immensely grateful to Baker for saving their little boy, of course. In fact, they now describe her as their supernatural, according to Inside Edition. What she did for my son, and what she does daily, it's unbelievable. I am so grateful that she's in our lives. However, Baker insists she was simply doing her job in caring for the little boy. I don't think of myself as a hero, 
she said. I love him when his parents are away. They put their trust in me to keep him safe.